What is the Lyrid Meteor Shower? The Lyrid Meteor Shower peaks in the night of April 21st and the early hours of April 22nd, but you can start looking for meteors now. Meteors are often called shooting stars, but they're not really stars at all. The streaks of light you see in the sky are small particles of rock or ice that burn up as they fall through Earth's atmosphere. Most are the size of a grain of sand, but some larger ones make it to the ground as meteorites. When they're still in space, meteors are called meteoroids. They are pieces of debris removed from the surfaces of comets and asteroids. This debris continues in orbit around the Sun as meteoroid streams. A meteor shower occurs when the Earth moves through one of these streams. As the Earth plows through the debris, the atmosphere acts like the windshield of a car driving through a snowstorm, and meteors can be seen to streak across the sky. The Lyrid meteoroid stream comes from Comet Thatcher, which last passed by Earth's orbit in 1861, and due to the 415 years it takes the comet to orbit the Sun, it won't pass the Earth again until the year 2276. The Earth moves through this stream in the same part of its orbit each year, so the Lyrids are always active in our skies during the second half of April. This year, we'll reach the middle of Comet Thatcher's meteoroid stream in the wee hours of April 22nd, the peak of the Lyrid meteor shower. Meteor showers are named for the point in the sky where the meteors appear to originate, a location called the radiant. The location of the radiant depends on the combined motion of the Earth and the meteoroids themselves. The radiant of the Lyrids is near the bright star Vega in the constellation Lyra. Let's go to the Giovanni Open Deck Observatory, here at Lowell Observatory, to see how this looks from the ground. All you need to see the meteors are your own two eyes and a dark sky. This year, the Lyrids peak when the moon is close to new, so its light won't interfere with our view. You'll want to be on that windshield side of the Earth as it plows through the meteoroid stream, but you also want the sky to be fully dark, so for the best viewing, aim for something like 3 a.m. on the morning of April 22nd. The meteoroids from Comet Thatcher are approaching Earth from above the plane of our solar system, so the Lyrids are best seen from the northern hemisphere. Around 3 a.m., you'll find the radiant very high in the southeastern sky, near Vega. Looking much lower in the sky, in about the same direction, you can also see three planets, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. With the radiant so high, Lyrid meteors will appear to move from the top of the sky, or zenith, towards the horizon in every direction you look. Lyrids tend to be fast and relatively bright, with fairly good chances for bright fireballs. The Lyrid meteor shower usually produces 10 to 18 meteors per hour at the shower's peak. However, dense clumps in the meteoroid streams can produce unpredictable outbursts, and these make the Lyrids worth watching every year. Join Lowell Observatory on Tuesday night, April 21st, for a live stream of the Lyrid meteor shower, hosted by astronomer Dr. Nick Moskowitz. We'll use the all-sky camera at the Lowell Discovery Telescope to hunt for meteors together. After that, you'll be ready to find more on your own when the Lyrid meteor shower peaks in the hours before dawn.